you know, first of all, fashion overall as a category is certainly not a COVID winner. We've actually seen a decline of about 15 to 20 percent in our markets overall, as customers were not able mainly to go to the shops, but also didn't need a lot of the typical fashion items when you think about occasion wear, when you think about work wear. And so from that perspective, there's really been a decline in our industry. Now, what has happened, a lot of the demand has migrated online. And that's definitely been good for anyone trading online, our brand partners, uh, ourselves and others. Um, we expect actually that this is going to continue uh, to happen because this is certainly not a new trend. We had a long term trend towards online shopping and our markets, which are a little bit less developed than the UK or Europe or US markets, are still behind. And so we are expecting actually that this is an inflection point and we're going to continue to see rapid online adoption. In terms of the tax side of it, this discussion that's certainly happening in the UK and some other markets is not something that we've seen in our markets. Okay, that's very interesting. What about your gross margin? I say again, a very healthy 44% in the fourth quarter. Uh, where are you anticipating that going, going forward, given everything we've said already? I mean, we have really benefited uh, on the gross margin side from a shift in our business model towards marketplace. And you know that's just a higher gross margin business uh, given how the accounting works, and that's really supporting our underlying gross margin. But you know, on top of that, what we've seen is that our retail margins, so where we take actually inventory risk and are selling to the customers, are also stable. So despite everything that is happening around us, we've been able to hold those margins stable and then grow gross margin thanks to the marketplace. Christoph, I want to talk about that, a slight trend shift we've seen in the industry. You know, going into this crisis, we saw a lot of fast fashion, very fast trends that were coming to market. Now, during a pandemic, we've heard about a lot of inventory put away in warehouses to be brought back out again, which seems to be the very opposite from what we witnessed. How does that impact the industry in the next, say, 12, 12 months to even two years? There's certainly been an unprecedented uh, disruption to supply chains. You know, just a year ago, we were looking at what was happening in China as a main production country. Um, and there's been so many dramatic changes. I think what we have observed is that the industry as a whole has become a lot more flex flexible, a lot more agile in responding to customer needs and adjusting to that. And so we're actually seeing a recovery across the board in terms of many of the categories you know, we operate, for example, in Australia, where, you know, lockdowns are less severe. There's very few COVID cases at this point. And so customers are starting also to buy, you know, dresses and high heels and, and all those typical fashion items again. So we're seeing a bit of a normalization in the category mix.